Start with the real number r between 0 and 1. Draw an infinite vertical line connected to a horizontal line of length given by the sum of the positive powers of r, which is a geometric series and thus converges to a finite value. From the end of the horizontal line, build a staircase type diagram where the stair heights are all 1 and the stair depths are the positive powers of r, so that each stair platform gets narrower. This object has been called Gabriel's staircase. It has an infinite perimeter, but encloses a finite area. Let's compute the enclosed area in two ways. First, we decompose the staircase into columns of rectangles. The first one has height 1 and width r, so it contains an area of 1 times r. The next one has height 2 and width r squared, so it contains an area of 2 times r squared. The third one has height 3, and width r cubed, so it encloses an area of 3 times r cubed, and the next one encloses an area of 4 times r to the fourth. We continue this process forever with narrower and narrower rectangles, giving an infinite sum for the area. We can also decompose the staircase into rows of rectangles. The first such rectangle has height 1, and the width is the sum of the geometric series with ratio r and first term r, which converges to r over 1 minus r. So the area enclosed is r over 1 minus r. The second rectangle also has height 1, and this time the width is the geometric series with ratio r and first term r squared, which converges to r squared over 1 minus r, so that the area is r squared over 1 minus r. The next two rectangles are also of height 1 and widths of geometric series, and thus, they enclose areas of r cubed over 1 minus r and r to the fourth over 1 minus r. We again continue this process forever with smaller and smaller rectangles giving a different infinite sum for the area. These two infinite sums can be shown to both converge to a finite value because r is between 0 and 1. The sums enclose the same area, so they must be equal. Thus, we have that the sum from 1 to infinity of k r to the k is equal to the sum from 1 to infinity of r to the k over 1 minus r. But we can factor 1 minus r out of the latter sum, leaving us with the geometric series with ratio r and first term r again, which we know converges to r over 1 minus r. Thus the sum from 1 to infinity of k times r to the k is equal to r over the quantity 1 minus r squared, provided r is between 0 and 1.